Hi, this is Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the certified car nut. And welcome to the 14th annual Mopars with Big Daddy Car Show, held where else but on the grounds of Big Daddy Don Garlitz Museum of Drag Racing right here in Ocala, Florida. There's every kind of Mopar you can think of. Darts, dusters, demons, Kudas, challengers, chargers, roadrunners, super bees, furies. There's even some of Mopar's cousins like AMC and Nash. Joining me now is Tina Berlue, the chairman of the Florida Mopar Association, right? Glad to have you here. Yeah, ah, that's Tina, me. That's, that's you. Now, the, the Florida Mopar Association is actually a collection of clubs down here, right? It's a collection of 11 clubs across the state of Florida, yes. We have AMCs and, and Mopars both. Wow. Well, now, this is the 14th show. Uh, has it always been at the museum? Always been at the museum. Uh, and about 10 years ago, one of our member clubs was asked about taking it over and, and making it grow. And she turned it over to the association. Well, that's great. Now, well, what did it start easy. out? How big was it when it started? We had maybe 50 cars on the field, maybe five to 10 vendors max. Wow. What do you think you'll have this year? Uh, we'll probably have 300 cars on the field, and there's 255 vendors out there. Yeah, that's a heck of a swap meet back Isn't there. Isn't that great? You can get anything you want out there, <laughs> even a Mopar. Oh, There's you. lots of Mopars. Yeah, I did see that. There. there are some. I was kind of checking out. a few of them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, now this is a, you know, it's, it's a real kind of family feel to it, too. Mopar people are family. They are very always ready to help the guy. Like, I can look at this A body and maybe this guy wants to do something like that. He'll go talk to him and say, hey, how'd you do that? Oh, I'll tell you how I did it. In fact, come on over and I'll help you do it. That's great. That's the way. Now, it's a show in the southeast, but you got cars from all over. We have cars from all over the Northeast. We have them from Canada. We have them from Texas, Oklahoma, the Carolinas, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia. A lot of folks from Georgia here. Well, I think it's really cool. Like you say, we're standing here amid the A bodies, but mm -hmm. there's a whole alphabet soup of uh, body types. Educate me here. These are A's. Now, if we go down here, we got what? We got B's down here. Down here, you got B's. The next two aisles over, you got E bodies, which is the Cuda and the Challenger. This was a gorgeous day with plenty of Florida sunshine and a show field full of beautiful Mopars. The 14th annual Mopars with Big Daddy had some fine examples of Mopar muscle and Chrysler class. There were even some of the stranger members of the family at this reunion. Well, Dennis, if there was an award for the weirdest car here, it would have to go to you with, <laughs> with this, what, 50 Nash Statesman, Statesman Super. Super. What a wild car. And you've done, you've done a lot with it, I must say. Yeah, we've done a couple things to it. Well, yeah. it, first of all, it looks like a bathtub. Uh, upside upside down. down, right. That's what they used to nickname it back in the 50s. <laughs> but, you know, the strangest lines. I mean, well, what possessed you to buy it? But where'd you even find it? Uh, we found it. A gentleman had an ad in the paper in Ohio. We found it, and the ad said, this car is uglier than your wife. <laughs> oh, a real marketer, I can tell. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> caught but, our attention. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. The, the lines are so bizarre. And you've, you know, you've modified it. But the interior left bone stock, it looks like. We like the looks of the interior, oh, so we fantastic. left it they're all original. We try not to cut up anything on any of the cars that we do. Well, the pod gauges and, you know, the brown, uh, did you reupholster it? Right, it's but all reupholstered in, in uh, original, correct, correct yeah. And it's a Nash, so this, this must fold down. Yeah, it folds down into a big bed. Party mobile. Party <laughs> mobile, yes. <laughs> Well, it's hard to get dates in this car back then. <laughs> it's probably hard to get dates in it now, actually. But uh, uh, under the hood, that's not stock, though, I don't think. No, we couldn't, we couldn't have that stock. We couldn't leave that alone. What do you got? Uh, we got a 1954 Dodge 241 Red Ram Hemi. The baby Hemi? The little baby Hemi. <laughs> oh, isn't it cute? Yeah. So did you have to hack it, chop it to get it in there? Or? No, we picked that little, little Hemi because it fits right on the stock. Nash mounts, we didn't have to do any modifications whatsoever. So, do you, I mean, do you drive it much? Oh, yeah. We drive it all summer long in Medina, Ohio, and then we brought it down here for Don Garlic Show, and it'll be down here. We'll be driving along around here for about four or five months. Well, I bet you here. don't meet many other ones on the highway, do you? No, in the last seven years since I've had it together, I've probably three or four. <laughs> Man. That's about it. It is, it's so cool. I love it. It's so bizarre. You're my kind of guy. Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> How are you? You're not. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to be. Somebody's got to do it. You have just got to see this next car. It's a 1967 Plymouth GTX with a 426 Hemi, one of 408 ever made. This car should bring a flutter to any Mopar fan's heart. And how about some small block Mopar muscle? Check out this little number. Derek, I've always wanted one of these cars, 70 Challenger TA. I just absolutely love this. It's beautiful. Thanks. Did you restore it? Uh, no, I had a friend of mine. Uh, I bought the car back in 94. And uh, I actually had to sell it because we moved into our new house. And I was going to do it as a restoration project, but a friend of mine bought it, and he restored it in his garage. Man. So I kept bothering him until he actually he sold it back, it back to me. 
So is it is it restored to you know correct color and everything? Yeah, FC seven, the Plum Crazy Purple, the um, H six XW is the white interior. And I just and the white interior and it's just it just makes the whole car pop. That's what my I wife think. loves that white interior. Oh, it's beautiful. And you're yeah. gauging and all. It's just I mean this thing looks like brand new. Was it in rough shape when you got it? Uh, it was actually it's all original sheet metal. Um, never had any body panels replaced or nothing, but. Uh, it was in good shape. How many I mean, miles uh, on this car? 76,000 original, two owner car. Man, that's amazing. All documented by Galen Govier, um, all numbers match. Wow. Two build sheets, I found one build sheet under the kick panel and one build sheet under the back, behind the back seat. Well, you know I love this engine, the 346 pack. I mean, I, that's just fantastic. Nothing like sticking your foot in M32 barrels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's a screaming engine. It's a high revving engine, and, and these things handle on the corners better because they're just not so heavy. In oh, front. yeah, it's got the uh, power steering, power brakes. Well, that's pretty, um, pretty highly optioned for one of these, really. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And the car runs good, handles good. Look as good underneath as? Yeah, it looks really good. It, it, matter of fact, all the dust and stuff from today uh, looks probably looks better underneath. Because the <laughs> well, purple you know, like, really should. Like I said, I've always wanted one of these. Maybe we'll have to go off later and chat about uh, Making this mine or we something. We can do that. <laughs> beautiful car. Thanks, Derek, Beautiful car. Well, thank you. I bet you've never seen one quite like this. It's a 70 Dodge Dart Swinger on the outside, but has a 440 cubic inch engine with long ram intake under the hood. The owner used manifolds off a 63 Chrysler 300 and topped them off with two Holley 600 carbs. Now this is one sweet Swinger. Chuck McCoy doesn't consider himself to be a sculptor. However, this 32 Ford Roadster is an awesome work of art. Chuck and his friends handcrafted the majority of this all steel street rod, but you won't find this car up on a pedestal. It's driven. We're back up in God's country, Bellingham, Washington, with Chuck McCoy. Chuck, great to see you again. Always a pleasure, Dennis. <laughs> and perhaps the baddest 32 Ford street rod on the planet. I met you a couple years ago in Langley and was absolutely taken by this car. Thank Chuck, you. it's beautiful. Thank you very much. And you, the story is, is even better than the car though. You built this yourself, but in one year, one year flat. Unbelievable. You are a dedicated car nut and I, you know, and I respect that. <laughs> I, but, but the color, the finish on this is just stunning. It's uh, if I recall, it's a Mercedes color, isn't it? Uh, it's Mercedes smoke silver. And then interior too? Interior is Mercedes parchment. But you've, you've just sculpted it so beautifully. You got these monstrous tires back here, but you've integrated them with the car just perfectly. Right, we actually took two and a half inches out of the body and re-stretched the metal, put it back in so that the car would sit right to the ground and have room for the tires. And you, how'd you keep the crimp in there? We actually it the... took it and stretched the material oh, using man. the same material that was already there. And when I built it, I had to have this tire, this rear end. Oh, of course. So what we did is we had, we could buy the rear end, but it wasn't wide enough. So we actually had to take and program and make spacers for the rear end on each side, which actually took us 55 hours alone just to program it. For the CAD system, just to program the design? That's before right. the, Not the machining? Before we cut it. Whoa! Well, everything just flows so well. And you've done the, you know, the exterior and interior colors. I love the... You know, the carpeting, is that, is that uh, Mercedes also? No, I'm afraid that's uh, Rolls-Royce. Oh, Rolls-Royce. Well, at least we're keeping the high-dollar theme going. <laughs> and uh, the, the, the carbon fiber shift knob, is that, am I, am I right there? That is that's right. It's carbon fiber. And if you notice in the dash insert, we also use carbon fiber in there to oh, accent nice. it. Yeah. But of course, the thing that sticks out, and it, and it does stick out, is this monstrous engine. That's a, what, a 502? Or? It's actually 509 Gen 6 Chevy block. Oh, man. Unbelievable, and that's, uh, that's an old Can-Am fuel injection system. That's right, it is. But we made it run with electronic fuel injection, which actually, you'll see, it drives like grandma's car. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that doesn't happen to open up right It sure does. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'd love to have a better look at it. Oh man, you have really thought of everything. So when you say you've, you've you know, either built or modified everything on this, what are we talking about? Uh, everything from the headers to um, every nut, bolt, and screw, motor mounts, um, radiator overflow, even the valve covers we changed. We didn't like the way they looked, so we took and put our own breathers and our own inserts in them. Unbelievable. How about the, how about the windshield? Now, the windshield was uh, from SoCal Hot Rod, and it actually is the first uh, windshield that they made and now they can be purchased, but it was their original first one. It was the prototype. That's right. Wow. 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 Now you've been to 
you know, tons of shows with this thing. It's got to be a huge crowd pleaser. But you, you really do drive it. Uh, yes, I think I do. <laughs> you run, runs like Grandma's car. Drives it like does. A, As yeah. a matter of fact, maybe we ought to go see Grandma. Let's, let's, let's go see Granny and see what she's up to. What okay, do you say? Okay, we'll do it. Okay, enough gawking at this gorgeous ride. It was time for Chuck and me to climb in and take off on the back roads of Washington State. And we couldn't resist leaving a little rubber on the pavement along the way. Oh, yeah. Sure a nice day for a cruise. Definitely is. And you, actually, you actually drive this thing. Oh, yeah, as much as I can. Man, yep. I like the look of the Stuart Warners. Is that, I mean, do they make a cluster like that? Yeah, it's been out for about two years. I think it goes to a 57 Chevy. Oh, yeah, it kind of looks like yeah. it, yeah. So, I mean, this thing was going to be open from the beginning. There's no top. There's, I mean, this is... No top. You and the world, right? Yeah, meant to be. I like feeling the wind going through my hair. <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's kind of curled down. <laughs> well, it's a low car, you know. I, mean, I dropped it. <laughs> it does ride nice. It rides really nice, it's, doesn't it? I mean, it's so comfortable. For a roadster, most of the guys really complain about a roadster. Oh, yeah, they, they, don't shake, ride. Your, yeah. Yeah, they shake your teeth loose. I get a lot of the ride just from the rear tires, though. Is that right? Yeah. So the size, and you run it slightly low in pressure? Yeah. It's got coil over shocks, but you know, it rides most of the time just on the tire itself. It is just, this is the nicest ride in a Roadster I have ever felt. Very fine. You might have to buy this. I might have to buy this. <laughs> What gave you the carbon fiber idea? Uh, just, of course, kind of high tech, uh -huh. and uh, we wanted to carry that theme through a little bit more. And does it, you know, does it stay pretty cool? I mean, yeah, never overheats. Doesn't matter how hot it is. That's amazing. Was that fun or what? <laughs> that was too much fun. <laughs> Do you know, I don't think Granny ever drove it quite like that, Chuck. <laughs> Killer ride, beautiful car, man. Thank you very much. It was a blast. Building anything new? Uh, yeah, something coming up here in the we'll, future. We'll have to, we'll have to talk. Yeah, yeah, you, don't, we'll... you don't have an aunt or an uncle, some other relative here? Just down the street. Let's go visit Let's them go. too.